Okay, fifth grade, lesson 120. And this is our last lesson. Woo okay, and in lesson 120, we are going to be learning about multiplying mixed numbers. Okay. Okay, now. Let's review something with mixed numbers. All right, I'm going to take the number four and a half. Okay? Now, do you remember how to make this mixed number into an improper fraction? If you don't, we're going to quickly review it. And just switch to the denominator and numerator? No, that's reciprocal. Oh, okay. We're making an improper. Okay. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me, let me show you a picture. One, two, three, four, and then a half. Okay? So how much, this picture shows us how they're all cut. Yes. How is this one cut? Those are cut into holes, probably. Well, if well, this four one's holes. cut, wait a minute, this one's cut into twos, so they're all cut in twos. Yeah, but they're all filled. They're all filled in. So, how many pieces total are there? Four and one. One, two, three, oh. four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. And how many slices do we cut? Nine over one. No? Oh, you 9 over 10. No, baby. No. Do you remember know. that? Mm -mm. Because we cut them in two slices? Oh, yeah. Do you remember doing that? Let's try another one real quick. Okay. okay. One and two thirds. Okay, it's been a while since we learned this. Okay, so let's just review it. One and two thirds. Okay, so okay, that's one. Means they're cut into threes. They're cut into threes. Every single one of them are. Okay, but this one's a full hole, so all three of them are. Okay. That's one hole. And this one's two thirds. So, so how many slices are there? One, six. two, three, four, five slices. So it'll be five number, thirds. The bottom number always tells us how many slices okay. we cut. Okay? Mm -hmm. You remember that? And then if I wanted to take this number, five divided by three. Five <gasps> divided by three. And let's and work then it. And it'd be one. One. And a minus two. And that'd be. Two, two thirds. thirds. So, same answer, just seen as a different number. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. It's been a while. Okay, okay. you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. The cool thing is, is that I don't have to draw these out. I can do a mathematical thing to get me this. Okay. So, you ready to watch what I do? It's kind of a cool trick. All right. You are going to multiply these two numbers. So go ahead and draw this, one and two thirds. Okay. One, two thirds. Okay? And you're gonna put a little loop showing that you're multiplying these two numbers, and I'm gonna put an X to show multiplying. Okay. Okay? So what is three times one? Um, three. Three. You're gonna put that in the left corner. Okay, that's your answer. Then you're gonna take your answer and attach yeah. it to the two. To show that it's the two numbers we're going to work with next, and we're going to plus this time. Oh. Okay. okay. And that would so be So we five. times the first one, and we added the second one. So that what is five. three plus two? Five. Five. And then what was our denominator? All along. Five thirds. Yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So you don't actually have to draw it. You can just use that little trick and do it. Now, if you want to draw it, draw it. It's no big deal. Yeah. If it helps you to draw them out and then count the number of yeah. pieces, okay. you can do that. Or you can use this little trick. Okay. okay? Now, that's just part of the lesson. I was just showing you that trick because you can use it to do this. They're asking me to multiply one-fifth times four and a half. So what you've done okay. so far is you know how to multiply just fractions. You would go 1 times 1 equals 1, and 5 times 2 equals 10. Okay? But because this is a mixed number, it messes everything up. Because you can't multiply a fraction with a mixed number. We need to make this into just a fraction, whether it's improper or proper. So we're okay. going to make it into an improper fraction, and I just taught you how to do that. Okay. What am I going to do with these two then numbers? we have to times it by 2, so that will be 8. Very good. Four times two is eight. I'm gonna put it up here in the corner. Okay, and then eight. eight times one. Not times, remember? Plus one. That'd be Very nine. Good. Eight plus so one. So it'd be nine, nine eighths. What? No, wait. Nine over two. Whatever the whatever the denominator is, that's what you used to leave it as. Okay. 
Okay, so the answer is 9 over 2. So I'm going to slide this out of the way and put 9 over 2 over here. And now it becomes a problem you've always worked with. Ready? 1 times 9 is? 9. 5 times 2 is? 10. And that's our answer. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Let's try another one. Okay? That's our last problem. Woo-woo! For the year. Yay! Okay. Ready? We get 3 whole number times 2 and 1 third. Now, we need to make this one into a fraction and this one into a fraction so instead be, of mixed number. Okay, the three one could be two and three. Now that's two. when that's a good thought process, but that's actually when we're adding and subtracting decim um, fractions. So what are we doing this? Do you remember me taking three whole and putting it over one because it's just oh, one? Yeah, it's not even cutting any slices; it's just one whole slice. So mm -hmm. that's why they put it over one. Okay. Okay, yeah. you get it? Mm -hmm. We didn't cut it in two slices. It's yeah. one whole slice. So you always put the slices right here. Remember that? So yeah. three whole pies were cut into this one slice every time. Or none slice. I mean, it's just one whole yeah. slice. Okay? <laughs> so do you see how I got three over one? Yes. Okay. Now, remember what to do with this? And then we're trying to make that a whole number, right? We're trying to make this one into, like this, right now, this is a fraction, three over one. Yes. Okay? Now we're trying to make this into a fraction. Remember so, how to do that? Redo. Our trick. Oh, it's last night. Okay. Yeah, because we want to make this mixed number three into times, an improper fraction. Yeah, three times two is six, and then six times, times one is six. six. So it would be six thirds. Six. Time out. Oh, seven thirds. Plus six plus one is seven. And then we leave the three as that, so seven over three. Right? Yes. Okay, now we're going to work the problem. Three times seven is. 21. Uh, yes. 1 times 3 is? 3. 3. Now, this That's says improper. 21 over 3. It's an improper answer. What do we do with improper answers? We make it proper. Them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good. So, this says 21 divided by 3. three. So, I'm going to do that. 21 divided by 3. And 3 goes into 21 7 times. Very good. And 7 is our answer. Woo! And that is lesson 120. Yay!